I don't think we need a basic explanation of the class trial this time. Since this is your fourth, fourth one, I'm pretty sure you know all the ropes. But of course, it is mandatory to ask questions. For me to ask if anyone has any questions before the class trial begins. So, while we're on the topic of that, does anyone have any questions? Uh, actually, I do. How exactly do we vote for in this trial? I beg your pardon? Don't get me wrong. I understand the rules if there's more than one victims and who we vote for. It's the victim that we find first. Oh, I get it. We found both Toad and Bowser's body at the same time. So, who do we vote for in this case? Oh, I guess that also needs to be clarified. If an event like this ever happens again, where there is more than one victim and you find both of their bodies at the same time, then you must vote for the culprit of the victim that died first. Oh, so in... In shorter terms, we just vote for who died first? Yeah, basically. Oh, okay. Thank you for the clarification. Do we have any other questions? Um, it's not really a question, but more of a tangent. Uh, is it me, or is this room getting, uh, <laughs> surprisingly bigger? You dipshit. The room's the same size as it's always been. You're probably just realizing it now because there's so many people that have fucking died. Yeah, I mean, we've lost- we've started out with 19 people. And now, we're only at 10. Boo-hoo-hoo! -hoo. This would be normally the amount of people we'd have in the third trial! But since Mike, since Len went all trigger having and killed a lot more people than usual, there's- this will be the amount of pe- I don't- I don't know. Can we just shut your gob damn mouth and get started with the trial already? Well, that depends! Are you ready to start? Yeah, let's begin. Alrighty then, then let the very fourth class trial commence! All right, everyone, let's begin with the fourth class trial. Where should we start? Well, first off, I think before anything, we should discuss on who died first. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. If we vote for the wrong person, if we find out that there are two victims... Ah, I can't talk. Okay, let me rephrase that. If we find out that there are two killers, we need to figure out who to vote for if the victim, the killers are different. You got that right, Bulbasaur. I don't want to die. All right, then. Then who died first? Boozer or Tad? Well, honestly, I don't know who died first. I mean, Toad said that Monokuma file said that his time of death was around 5.15 p.m. But Bowser's time of death was unknown. Bowser's time of death was unknown? Hmm. Maybe we should discuss about this real quick. Our first priority is trying to figure out who died first. So that way we can focus on the person who died first more. But that doesn't mean we should ignore the other victim, right? Yes, this is just clearly... This is just to clear up who we should vote for in the end. Well, I mean... Who died at around 5.19 p.m., right? But according to Bowser's on Akuma file, his time of death is unknown. So, that must mean that the person who died first was Todd. No, that's wrong! Hold on, Karen. That might not be the case. Huh? What do you mean by that? Sure. Bowser's time of death was left unknown, but I actually think Bowser died first. Huh? Dad died first? Uh, that does seem plausible. If the Monica file left his time of death unknown, then it's possible that the, he got killed first, but... Wouldn't that be the obvious answer? There'd be no reason to hide it. Yeah, I mean, he could've just left it as his... Left the time of death plain, and we still would've figured out that Bowser died first. I'm gonna have to agree. Normally when the Monica file hides something, it's something not so obvious. Yeah, like for example, with Junior's murder. Oh, sorry, is that too soon? No, it's... no. Kind of is, but you do bring up a good point. With well, yeah, another counter point, Junior's murder weapon was kind of obvious as well, yeah. We just got overlooked by all the th other things on Junior's body. The lad actually just bring up a good point. Well, I'm with Tails on this. I think Bowser died first. Heh, <laughs> what do you mean, brother? Well, you see, there's actually a bit of evidence that proves this, that Bowser died first. Huh? There is? Well, what is the evidence, Minya? Yeah? Oh, I think I know what Cole is referring to. Tails and I were the last people to see Toad alive, but before he died, he gave us a very, some very interesting information. Yeah, you see, before Toad died, he said, SHUT YOUR FUCKING MOUTH! Oh, 
Uh, Len, what was that about? Jeez, you fucking stupid or something? You're talking about Bowser dying first, not Toad. Well, if you had just let me finish, I could have told you that Toad gave us some information that Bowser might have died first. <laughs> Please. You're just as stupid as my sister was. Guess I'll have no other choice but to fight you. Fine, whatever. You're saying that Toad gave you a piece of evidence that proved Bowser died first? But how would he know Bowser died first? And plus, that's so stupid. We're talking about Bowser dying first, not Toad. If you would just let me get a minute to explain, then you can listen to what me and her figured out before, right before Toad died. Ah, it's always about Toad, Toad, Toad. What about Bowser? He's the one who died, I'm trying to prove died first, right? What evidence could make me believe that Toad knew... The Toad gave some info that Bowser died first. I'll give you something. His final moment! Wait, what? Allow me to cut through those words! Ugh. Len, what proves that Bowser might have died first were Toad's final moments. Toad's final moments? Huh? What do you mean by that? Well, right before we were so rudely interrupted, I was going to say, while me and Tails were on the roof, it was very windy. And Toad came up to us, coming, he came up and said some, was about to say something to us before he got, um, well, he fell off the roof. Well, what did the top of the mushroom say? Well, it was incomplete, but he said, he was, he said something along the lines of, someone is duh. Someone is duh? <laughs> it's obviously he what he said. He means someone has a big dick. Are you serious right now? What? <laughs> I think I know where... Herb and and Tails again that. It's the evidence I wanted them to present. I think what Toad was trying to say is that someone is dead or someone has died. Wait, what? Come to think of it, he did look a little freaked out and started running towards the house. You think it's because they figured out Bowser died? Wait a minute. Father was not seen inside and Toad was outside. How the hell did he figure that out? I don't know, but it gives us a reason to why Toad would freak out in the first place. And plus, it's our only line of reasoning to believe that Bowser died first. Oh, okay, okay. Sorry for the interruption. You should be sorry, you filthy murderer! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Calm your ch fucking tips! Well, I'm sorry. Unlike you, I couldn't investigate the virtual world, because I was forbidden. What you Actually... That makes a good point. Yeah, okay, fine. That's our bad on that one. Maybe we should have just let him in the virtual world to help investigate, but kept an eye on him. I don't like the lad either, but... <sighs> we can talk about our hate for Len later. But now do you all believe us that Bowser might have died first? I do believe that Bowser, my father, did die first. But I still want to know how Toad figured that out. Well, it's possibly maybe he found a, a clue? What clue? You know, the clue on who the mastermind was. Maybe something around the lines of the mastermind wanted to kill Bowser or something. You know what? That did make sense. Huh? It would? Yeah, I mean, think about it. There was barely any motive this time. And if we think about it, Bowser could be a big threat to the mastermind. I mean, he is a villain, as far as I know. He's an evil tyrant who knows how a villain functions and works. So if you think about it in those terms, he could... Although Bowser isn't that, well, smart. He could easily figure out which one of us could be the mastermind. So are you saying the mastermind killed Bowser? It's a theory, but it gives us a motive for why Bowser would die in the first place. And maybe how Toad fi figured out Bowser is dead. Yeah, maybe he found something saying the mastermind was targeting Bowser. Motive for killing Bowser? You might know what that is, but no. I shouldn't explain it right now. We need to keep discussing about this. Okay, so now that we talked about Father, definitely died first. Should we talk about Toad a little bit? I think that's a good idea. So where should we begin? Well, there's really nothing to say about Toad's death. What do you mean, lad? His cause of death was unknown. We need to figure it out. The fact is, his cause of death isn't unknown, because I think I know what it is. Huh? You do mean it? Actually, we can focus more on Bowser now, because I think I know what happened. Simple. Toad's cause of death was brain damage. Br brain damage? But didn't you say he fell off the roof or something? Yes, but Karen, you have to understand. Our senses are linked in the virtual world. Just because a cause of death happens in the virtual world doesn't mean it'll be the same in the real world. Oh, I see now. Since even though Toad fell off the roof and his death would be considered going close trauma in the real world, in the virtual world, it would just be cons that would only be considered the virtual world. 
in the real world, it would just, the headset he was wearing would send an electrical signal to his head, killing him. So, in technical terms, he just died because his avatar died. Yeah, basically. Well then Toad's murder is all figured out then. Not entirely. Hold on, wait a minute. Oh, is the Karen saying something smart for once? Yeah, I am. Didn't you say Toad fell off the roof? Um, yes, he was indeed... He was... fell off the roof, yes. What if he was pushed off of one of y'all, and you two two watch his accomplices? What? what We are not accomplices! I don't want to admit it, but it is a possibility we should go over. Sure, it was windy out there, but... Yeah, you... one of you could have easily have pushed him off. Well, do they have anything to prove their innocence? Uh, I do! Toad's final moments! He also, I also noticed he was grabbed by something. He was grabbed? So in other terms, he was pulled off the roof? Yes, he was pulled off the roof by something. It looked like something grabbed him by his foot. That is the stupidest amount of bullshit I've ever seen her. Furthermore, doesn't that mean you should have seen the killer right under the roof after you saw Toad fall? Wait, that is true! Does that mean one of them is the killer? No, we're not! Tails, come on, we're not the killer! No, we're not. Wait a minute, there is something that can prove our innocence! So that's that! Plenty more and tiles are the killer! Let's get it over with! Neither of us- Neither of us are the killer! Nor an accomplice! I mean, we didn't know how the virtual world works. Maybe there was some way to glitch it, and maybe you guys did something we didn't know about. But we didn't. The house was in the prison. I mean, maybe it was suspicious, but it's not really anything. Maybe it was the way Tails. I mean, Tails was killed. Or maybe it's nothing. Or maybe it's the body discovery announcement. I agree with that. Yes, Cole's right. The bias scholarly announcement doesn't only prove my innocence, but Herb's as well. Oh, I guess I never asked. Who did trigger the BDA? It was Tails, then me, then Cole. So all three of us are innocent. Furthermore, both both the body discovery announcements play at the same time. So that means that neither neither of us are the killers. And we can rule out any other possibilities of anyone else seeing the bodies. So that means they're innocent. Yeah, and also Cole's innocent too. He's the one who triggered both of them. I guess you're right. Sorry, Tails. I didn't mean to make a big deal out of it. No, it's fine. Honestly, we should have confirmed our innocence at the start. No, well, now that that's out of the way, I still have a big question. How did Bowser die? We can go back, come back to Toad's murder later. We need to fig figure out about the murder that actually matters. Well, if it's Father's case, I already know the killer. It's you, Len! Oh, for the love of... God! Are you still on my ass because I killed two people last time? No, because ba Father's cause of death literally points to it being only you! Eh, Father's cause of death. If I'm not mistaken, it was... I got it. Bowser's cause of death was poisoning, same as Chili Pepper. And the person who killed Chili Pepper and the only one who has access to poison is you, Len! Uh, well... <laughs> I might find this hard to believe, but I legitimately have used all my poison when Chili Pepper was killed. But there's no way for us to prove that, right? Actually, yes, I can. Len used all this poison when murdering the Chili Pepper. Oh, now you're talking all about fairness, and now the one time we're gonna get something wrong, that's when you're gonna confirm it? Well, I mean, it's my motive I gave to you all, so I feel like I'm obliged to at least clarify that. I would only restock the uh, the weapons I gave you during the third case only during around that time. After that, you're allowed to keep the weapons, but I don't restock them. So, in other terms, Len doesn't have poison anymore. Which means I can't physically be the killer of Bowser. Wow, you guys do have more than one brain cell. Shut up, you fiend! Wait a minute, there is another way of poisoning. What, there is? I feel like I know what Squirtle is getting at. But I don't think what he's thinking is what actually happened. We should probably discuss. There is actually one more way of poisoning. There is, Squirrel. What is it? The chloroform that me and Tails found in the pharmacy. There's chloroform in the pharmacy? 
Oh well, yeah, the lads did say there was something new in the pharmacy. But isn't chloroform only meant to knock someone out? Not necessarily. If chloroform is used in a gaseous form, then it could be considered poisonous. Exactly! That means Bowser died from the chloroform! Poisoning! No, that's wrong! While I would like to agree with that, Squirtle, I don't think the chloroform was ever used. Huh? Are you contradicting me now? Squirtle, think back to the chloroform container we found. What? Well, describe it to me. Um, well, there was nothing special about it. It just looked like an unopened container of chloroform. Wait, it was unopened? Yeah, it had the seal on it and everything. Well, that means it was never used. Oh, uh, hold on. But there'd be a new chloroform in the pharmacy after there wasn't before, it's a little suspicious. Maybe Monokoma just put it there. I mean, I did find it a little suspicious that we only unlocked one new room after the trial. It possibly added some more stuff that we didn't even know about. Well, I do believe it's possible, but I still don't think the chloroform was used. And I even looked at the amount of chloroform. Even if the chloroform was used, it wouldn't kill Bowser. It only looked like to be enough to knock someone out. Well, then maybe they used some sort of other drug in the pharmacy. No, if that was the case, then his cause of death would have been overdose. Ugh! Overdone! Wait a minute. Huh? Hmm. I think I might know who the killer is. Oh, so it's not you for once? Tails, I know you drew up a map of where everyone was before Toad died. Can you bring that out, please? Um, sure, I guess. Here it is. So, let's look over here. As far as I'm concerned, this is where Bowser was last seen, right? On the first floor. Y yeah, your point is? Kindly tell me, aside from the people who are outside, the people who are on the first floor? People that were on the first floor. There were only three people excluding Bowser. Those people were. It was them. The three people that were on the first floor, aside from Bowser, were Conductor, Morton, and Ludwig. Hold on, lad. Where are you getting at? Now, hold on. I want us to go back to who was let. Bowser was last seen with. Tails, answer me. Who was Bowser last seen with? Bowser was last seen with. It should have been the partner he went to investigate with, so... It was him. Morton. He was the one who went to investigate with Bowser. Correct! Now, Tails, I want you to think back to the third case. What in the fuck does the third case have to do with anything? Hush now, sweetie. The adults are talking. I'm in my 20s, thank you very much! Now, Tails, I know this might be hard for your little brain to remember, but someone actually did receive chloroform as their weapon. Someone did? Wait. I think you connected the dots now. Who received chloroform as their weapon to kill... during the last motive? If I'm not mistaken, it was... Him, wasn't it? It was him. It was Ludwig. He received chloroform last time. Huh? Oh, that's right. He did. I lost the list, but he. It, I do remember Ludwig having chloroform. It, yes, I did indeed have chloroform, but what are you getting at? I'm not the killer. I was the conductor the whole time. Yeah, the lad never, literally never left my side. Shh, the adults are talking. Now, Tails, think about this logically. I don't think Ludwig ever used his chloroform, but honestly, I think Monokuma would give him a dose that would be powerful enough to either knock out or kill someone. And there's someone else here who could have easily have gotten that chloroform since they're very close with the person who owned it. Uh. And, not to mention, they were the last person thinking about it. So, honestly, I think it's them. I know who we're talking about now, but is it really him? It can only be him. You're talking about Morton, aren't you? <laughs> what? Precisely. If Morton just went to um, freaking Ludwig's room crying and all, and he just asked Ludwig to leave for some reason, then that must mean he must have taken the chloroform. Or heck, maybe Ludwig's an accomplice in all this. And this was just all a big ploy to kill Bowser, and Toad just got caught in the crossfire. <laughs> No, I, I would never! Uh, I'm not one to be rude here, but this plan, and if you're suggesting that, then this plan would have taken a lot of brain power. Morn doesn't have that, but Ludwig does! 
I guess it's true. If they did work together, then... It would be possible for this crime to be pulled off! But no! Ludwig would never kill his own father! Ludwig, tell them! I... I... We didn't! We swear! And we didn't kill Tony Minya! Stop it! Oh, stop it, you with your fucking fizzy minya! I'm getting tired of it! I'm sure everyone's tired of it, too! Just shut the fuck up and admit to your goddamn cr- Enough, lad! I'm starting to get a little real ticked with ya! Conductor! Uh, when did you get a backbone all of a sudden? Shut it, lad! They just lost their father! And now you're just accusing them of this? I've never seen anything more disrespectful in my life! Well, I guess there is something disrespectful sitting near that stupid bear, but come on! <laughs> he that broke, he's referring to you. What?! Now listen to this clear! Ludwig was with me the whole time! I did, he had no way of communicating with Morton! So unless you find some way to BS that, I don't see him or Morton being the killer. And if you even think about accusing that poor child again, I'll stab you till your neck bleeds. Wow, I didn't know that you cared for them. Look, maybe me and Bowser never saw eye to eye, but he was a good person. Sure, he was oblivious, and his obliviousness caused one of his kids to die. But I can tell, from our, all our arguments, he did want to be a good person. So stop accusing his kids like they're his damn murderers! Conductor, I... I don't know what to say. You can thank me later, lad. <sighs> I'm just getting fumed. Conductor, thank you. I don't care if you just grain the heart or something. That stupid fat turtle over there was the last one to see the actual boozer. Yeah, I mean, and the chloroform theory with Ludwig does prove that there could be a way to poison someone. Wait a minute, guys. I just realized something. There's some. There's something I need to ask. Huh? What is it, Tails? Did Bowser die in the virtual world? Huh? What are you talking about? Well, it's just something I noticed. There's some. There's a piece of evidence that proves that otherwise. And that evidence. And that few pieces of evidence are. <clears throat> I got it. Firstly, Morn's piece of evidence. We really gonna believe in that front coming from a potential killer. Karen, just shut up at this point. Apparently. Morton said that his father had a stomach ache, or at least wasn't feeling good, and he said he was going to lay down and told Morton to go investigate the Ludwig. Oh, he did? Come to think of it, I did think I saw Morton walking around looking for us. But that's not all. Did we ever find Bowser's body in the virtual world? Um, well, actually, now that you mention it, no. Are you saying that Dad was not- wait. No, you mentioned that did, we did never find his body. We looked just about everywhere, too. You didn't find him? Yeah. That's because, with this one more piece of evidence, I think I can confirm something. And that is Bowser's position of his body when we exited into the real world. Huh? What do you mean? I don't think Bowser died in the virtual world. I think he died in the real world. Huh? Huh? Wait, what do you mean, Minya? Are you saying Father locked out? There's no way. But if it would make sense. If he died in the virtual world, if any cause a poison in the virtual world, then his cause of death would be the same as Toad. Oh, I guess that's technically right. Yeah, but at the same time, maybe it's just a glitch in the Monokuma file. Yeah, and if we're thinking Morton and Ludwig are innocent, then he must have done the virtual world. Yes, if he was poisoned in the real world, wouldn't he have died a lot sooner? Actually, that's an easy point. No, I'm with Tails on this. I think Bowser died in the real world. He must have talked with Morton and told him he was going to lay down, but in reality, he logged out. Tails did show us how everyone to log out, right? Yeah, but... There's no proof of that, though. Yes, there was! Bowser's headset was off! And the cord looked intact, too, so he didn't fall out of it. He simply must have took it off. I don't know. Sure, Father's cause of death suggests that he does in the, ver the real world, but... There's no way that dies in the real world. Uh, what the fuck? Seems our opinions are split. I told you this would happen! Wait, what? I don't have an axe, but this will do. Wait, what? <laughs> it's time for a scrum debate! Hey, why you won't hit me like that? Cause it's fun! Anyway, here are the sides you'll be getting on. Boing! Boing! Go on to this side of the courtroom if you think Bowser died in the virtual world. Go on to this side of the courtroom if you believe Bowser died in the real world. Boo! Boing!
What are y'all saying? Who's it down in the virtual world? Not the real world. P um, Cole. But did we ever find his body in the virtual world, though? No, we didn't. Maybe we just didn't go into the room where his body was, man. Maybe we missed it. I got this. You think we would see his body? I mean, his his body's pretty big, after all. Perhaps someone hid his body in the virtual world. Conductor. Where in blasted blazes would they hide his body then? Maybe we we simply threw it in the lake behind the house. Len! Do you think they got enough time to do that without getting caught by someone else? But by that logic, doesn't that mean the killer had to be outside of the virtual world? That's the only time and way they could have poisoned father from outside. I- Herb Cookie, there is a way. If he was poisoned much earlier, and he just start- and the poison didn't kick in until a little after when Morton had the conversation with him. Answer. Answer.